Namo Adidafa. Thank you for joining me for a daily practice check-in. Listen, listen, listen. This beautiful sound calls us back to our true home. Third, mindfulness training. Aware of the suffering caused by sexual misconduct, I vow to cultivate responsibility and learn ways to protect the safety and integrity of individuals, couples, families, and society. I'm determined not to engage in sexual relations without love and a long-term commitment. To preserve the happiness of myself and others, I'm determined to respect my commitments and the commitments of others. I will do everything in my power to protect children from sexual abuse and to prevent couples and families from being broken by sexual misconduct. We've been reading Beginning Our Day, Volume 2 by the monastics of Abhyagiri Monastery for our Dharma lessons. And today we're reading Mindfulness and Concentration by Ajahn Karuna Dhammo. Yesterday at tea time, we were talking about right concentration, sama samadhi. One of the guests staying here had a question about sati versus samadhi, mindfulness versus concentration. It's a good subject to reflect on because we can sometimes be hard on ourselves when we are trying to concentrate our minds and the practice doesn't feel like it's going well. This can happen when we have some fixed ideas about the nature of concentration. As Lungpur Basano says, even the word concentration, taken by itself, has a connotation of a narrow focus that's exclusive of other experience. He used an analogy between this tray here and samadhi. The tray is a good example of samadhi in that we need a firm foundation. The glass on the tray doesn't form a strong base like the tray does. In samadhi, we are looking for a tray rather than a glass. After he explained this a few minutes later, the glass spontaneously burst in front of us. I don't know if it was merely by chance, but it was a well-timed example of the instability of that glass samadhi. It's good to keep in mind that sama samadhi is dependent on and supported by the right application of the other path factors, specifically right mindfulness and right effort, but also of all the other factors, right view, right intention, right action, right speech, and right livelihood. All of those factors have to be in play for samadhi to be right concentration. It is not independent of those other factors. And when we don't have significant amounts of time for intense long periods of formal sitting meditation, the work we do with the other factors of the Eightfold Path forms that firm foundation, making it a broad base of practice. To begin with, we have to have right view, which starts with the knowledge that the actions we take in body, speech, and mind all have an effect in firming up that foundation and establishing peace within the mind how we act throughout the day, the mindfulness we have when walking, doing dishes, working outside, working in the office, and, and the attention we bring to what we're doing, even though it is quite active and engaged, helps to form that firm foundation. When we skillfully practice the Dharma, all of those factors work closely together and act as a base for that type of collectedness of mind. It's not a forced activity. We engage throughout the day with all the other aspects of the Noble Eightfold Path, so we have a greater ability to enter into a quiet, collected, enjoyable, peaceful state of mind. This concentration is not a result of having to go into sensory deprivation or exclusion of all experiences so we have a few moments of peace. That's not the kind of samadhi that is going to be stable, long-lasting, or even enjoyable. When we go through periods of practice that don't seem very fruitful, 
or when we feel our minds will never settle down, we can bring to mind that the sitting practice and development of concentration is an important part of practice, but it's only one part of the practice. It needs to be supported by and firmly grounded in the other factors of the path as well. beings be well. May all beings be happy. May all beings be at peace. Namo Aditapa. Thanks for joining me today.